Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. I love Carl. So innocent. Um, he has a, he has a uh, talent to be able to talk about anything that might get some people in trouble, but he just looks so innocent and and uh, and uh, sincere in his question that it's just funny and wholesome rather than. <gasps> um, let's go. Hey, Rick E. Jure. Vias. Welcome to this DVD extra. I suppose it should be called Meet Carl Pilkington 2. We did a little bonus feature for my politics DVD. Yeah, I'll react uh, to that, where sure. We, where we talk oh, you will? Thanks, about, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Stop talking. That was my other video, guys. Sorry. Feature for my politics DVD um, where, we, where we talked about um, politics, obviously, and that sort of introduced you to the world. That that was put on um, YouTube, and it's had like a million hits. So I think, you know, it's time we did that again. But um, around science, a, a, a subject that, if possible, you know less a about than you did about politics, in a way. So lovable. I understand uh, that you know there's a big cult following of Carl. I've seen in, uh, I, I see in a lot of videos I watch where I watch someone funny or, or whatever. It doesn't have to be comedy and just like, oh, there's a massive following. But I guess Carl has a fanatic fan base. More about science. Which I understand. What is science? Uh, it's in everything, isn't it? Can't avoid science. It's interesting because people who believe in God say that about God. He's in everything. No, no, but this is, this is like proper. This is, you know, if people want to believe in God, that's all right. But science is... Without science, we wouldn't have any of this. Well, it's almost the antithesis, isn't it? That if you believe in the magic of, you know, God and all his impossibilities and the illogical, and, uh, you know, that's science looks at hard empirical facts. See, all that went right off my head. I'm into science. I'm into the weird science. Um, you know, I like the fun of it. There's a lot of fun in science. I Let's love start at the beginning, stuff. the Big Bang. Okay, here, what, what do you think of this? An atom, right, is mostly nothing. One analogy is it's like a fist in the Albert Hall. So an atom, the size of the Albert Hall, the matter part of it, okay, the nucleus would be a fist. The rest is space. Okay? Little, little specks of dust. That's one thing. Electron? With a fly buzzing around it as the electron, just a, a, yeah, that's a charge. Now, when we look at it on that scale, it's easy to understand that all matter that exists, everything in this universe was once in the space many, many times smaller than an atom. No, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, no one, most people watching this are going, I don't get that. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be a black hole? Isn't that what a black hole is? So, it was the Big Bang just a black hole that exploded? This is the thing, all right? I know this is for Carl, all right? But I, I, I find this so fascinating. Maybe I'll make this a longer video, all right? Fast forward if you want. I'm going to get my takes. Is what, what if the universe is just as separated proportionally from other universes as galaxies are separated from other galaxies, but it would be even more separated because of just um, ratio. So, so, so the universe just means everything that we know, but what if like the universe is like a, is like a galaxy of galaxies. And it's just separated by an enormous, unimaginable distance. And then, like, Big Bangs just happen all the time when, you know, they just maybe expand, expand, expand. I think we're still expanding faster, right? But what if you eventually kind of slow down, however long that takes, and then you go back in, and then you explode, and then it starts all over again, you know? like. 
Does that make sense? That me do it. What else is on? Everything in the universe could be crammed into the, the tiniest thing imaginable. And that was sitting there in the beginning of time, right? 15 billion years ago, right? And then it expanded into a universe in a few minutes. But was the minutes then? No. So we don't know then. We don't know how long it took. Not that it matters, I'm not bothered. It's here now. And that's what I'm saying to you. It's all amazing that, the Big Bang thing. I've said to you, was it a Big Bang? Or was it just because there was nothing else there to drown out the noise? At the end of the day, it's that whole thing, isn't it? The noise. Was there even a noise if no one's there to hear it? Don't be worrying about all that stuff. I never understood that. Well, if no one's there, like if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it, does it make a sound? But what if a squirrel is near it? I, eh, I'll stop Leave talking. it to Stephen Hawking to do it. Of course he can sit there and think about it. He's got nothing else to do. Let him get online. Oh, th it's great to think. I like thinking, but my world's too busy. I've always got to be doing other things. He sat there just thinking. I'd be the same if I was in his shoes. Exactly the same thinking. But he's, he's, he's done that much thinking. He's thinking about things now he doesn't need to think about. Pack it in, Steve. Have a rest. <laughs> Play Pac-Man. Do, do whatever. Just do something else. Stop worrying about the Big Bang. <clears throat> he's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter. We don't need to know the answer. He's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter. Good. It, it doesn't matter, does it? In your life... Pun. It doesn't matter. Get it? ...of things that matter, where would you put the Big Bang? No, but then... But then no, where do you draw the line? We're not here for long enough. Well, we're not here for long enough. But then enough. nothing matters then, does it? So yeah, we... it does, yeah. What, what does? Matter. What matters? Well, keeping well, people happy. Okay. You know, uh, looking after people. So, so keeping them happy could be giving them life-saving drugs. Or feeding a, um, a starving world or letting someone become mobile that was otherwise yeah. immobile. And that's, that's fine. But you're talking about space. When did it start? Where does it end? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You know, it goes on and on and on and on. We know that. Atoms, they're not getting in the way. Stop worrying about them. I read something about some scientists trying to smash one up. What for? <laughs> They're not in the way. If they were big and I kept bumping into them, I'd smash them up, break them down, <laughs> gravel, make gravel out of them. <laughs> Adam make gravel. They're so tiny that they're only gravel. No, but what, what I'm saying is it's not an issue. Right. I mean, there's loads of problems in the world. There is loads of problems. You may mention them all, the starvation and all that, and someone's faffing about with an atom. Mm. That isn't going to sort anything out. America. Some people say mathematics is the tool of science. You need maths to do anything in science. Yeah, of precision. I believe, that, I believe that. You do. I like doing DIY. I've told you there's a lot of maths involved. Accuracy. Right. That's fine. Okay. Just taking it slightly even more accurate than, than DIY. Um, Microsurgery, um, putting a man on the moon, the figures had to be... Pointless. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do something. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Again, you see, if we didn't have... The... Putting a man on the moon, the figures had to be... Pointless. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, you see, if we didn't have the numbers, that wouldn't have happened. But all we've done is create something else we didn't need because of something else we've got. We didn't have to put man on the moon. What right. was he doing? What did he do? Nothing. Has he been back? No, he hasn't. He didn't enjoy it. No one, no one else has gone up there. The only reason, the thing that I've thought of recently when I thought that would be good to go into space again is to get rid of rubbish. That's what I'd do. They're always going on about landfill and everything. It's not good. We can't get rid of all this. Shoot it up there. Stick it into space. It's that expanding. would be awesome. I, I'd imagine it'd just be an insane cost. Like, <laughs> But just to shoot out all of the trash just into space or like nuclear waste... Wait, nuclear waste. I mean, obviously, it'd be insanely expensive, but if we just, like, contained it, shot it up in a rocket, oh, my God, what if the rocket exploded in midair and spread the nuclear waste everywhere? I don't know. I don't know. In this loads of space. Mm. Stick all the shit up there. 
Don't be sending a man up. I, I, I heard that one of them astronauts knocking a golf ball about on the moon. Leave your golf clubs at home and take some shit up with you and tip it. <laughs> yeah, but do you know how much fuel is needed to get a kilogram of something up out of the Earth's atmosphere and oh, into space? Me. He had a golf club with him, a I golf know. ball. OK, but how much, how much rubbish do you think we can really get rid of? As much as you want. But how much fuel does it take? I mean, there's, it's a matter of economics as well. Think of the fuel that, were, the fuel that would take a bin bag full up into space would far outweigh that bin bag being on Earth. Well, they keep going into space now. They're not going to the moon. They knock around space messing with satellites. Right. Less astronauts, a couple of bin bags. Get rid of, like, three Chuck people's some shit up trash. There. What's good with it is it won't break up. It'll just keep circling. And up there, then, space isn't space anymore. It'll be like a museum because there'll be old stuff from years ago. <laughs> At the moment, we're not... We, we don't save him. anything, do we? It's all about recycling. Mm. Everything's destroyed. There's no evidence of the past. Mm. Go into space, it'll be like Antiques Roadshow of shit from the years gone by. Right. I'd like to see this episode. That's mental, Carl. It's not mental. It is mental. How would you get the rubbish up there? In the rocket. Yeah, but you don't know anything. I love how Ricky usually laughs at, like, Carl's ideas, but he's, like, generally, like, upset, like... No, Would this makes no up sense. There? In the rocket. Yeah, but you don't know anything. <laughs> Do you know how much there. fuel it takes to well, burn? they're going up anyway. I'm just saying, at least if they're going up there, do something. Do something different. It's space. There's nothing in space. Well, let's put something there. That's what we do as humans. We don't like plain space. We fill it. That's what we do. So just chuck some shit into space, that's all I'm saying. If you're up there, get rid of a few bin bags. Brilliant. That's space. There's nothing... Don't you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing... Yeah, but it's mental. It's... it's, it's everything's wrong with it. It's, a ter once again, a terrible, flawed theory. <laughs> oh, God. Time travel, I... Time machines. They're funny. That's science. Well, we're sort of going into Guys, the future, question. aren't we? Isn't, don't we already know that time travel is never going to be possible? Because it, even if it takes a million years to be possible, well, then someone would have came back. Like, if, if time travel is not impossible, it just, it's a, it's, it's a technology thing, then why haven't we seen anyone? Like, we haven't seen anyone. What? No one's come back in time and be like, oh, yeah, we invented it, like, uh, 3,028 AD or something. All the time. Time machine. And th that's what makes me think, like, all right, time travel is just impossible because no one has time traveled yet. Oh, well, how do you know the technology in the future? That That's my point, is if they have the technology in the future, they, they, that, 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 uh, yeah. th then they would have come back. And, uh, uh, they're funny. That's science. Well, we're sort of going into the future, aren't we, all the time, by no, definition? Every day, every day we are, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But I'm talking about mm -hmm. people want to do big leaps, don't they? Yeah. I met a scientist once, you know, um, that old fellow I met, proper scientist. He said he'd love to get in a time machine. Patrick Moore? No, um, Wolf. Jules Heinz Graham. Wolf. All right. I met him, he said, I'd love a time machine. Where would he go, back or...? Yeah, forward? back. He said he wanted to go back, because he asked me, he said, where do you want to go? I said, oh, uh, I think I picked a holiday that I had. So you went back five or six years? Because I knew exactly what I'd be going back to. I enjoyed that week. I'd be going back. I wouldn't have to pay for that holiday. I've already paid for it. It's not like I'm turning up and someone's going, get out, you shouldn't be here. I was there. So you're going back because you reckon you'll save 400 quid? Well, it's 250. It was a bargain. In Mallorca, a villa, swimming pool, three bedrooms. That's what you'd use a time machine for? I'm just saying, why do people always have to jump so far? So hold on then, let me get this straight. Are you going back and it's you now and you've had that five years and you're loving it, oh, I remember doing this, or are you going back and just reliving it like a memory and no one knows the difference and nor do you? It's like you just do it and then you have to... No, no, I, everybody there doesn't know I've gone back in time. Right, so you come from the future then. Yeah, but they don't know that. No, I know, but you're in your body then, you look like you did then, but actually, it's Carl five years on. Yeah, but I'm having the same holiday, and I'm going to enjoy it more. So you're not coming back with going like, oh, Rita, go and get that checked out. 
Mm. And no, just have a holiday. But the weird thing is, this professor bloke, he wanted to go back, he said he wanted to go back when, like, cavemen were knocking about to see how they sort of mooched about and how they survived. See, that to oh. me is more interesting than going back on a holiday I've already had, I'll be honest. You wouldn't go back to being a caveman. You'd eat it. You'd be going, oh, God, send me back. And they go, no, no, you've got to stay here for a bit. It's an expensive machine. About 10,000 years. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that. I wouldn't want to go forward either. So cause... when you went back, so, what, so suppose you went back to caveman times, right? You, you are you, right? You'd fit in fine. Well, I'd be brilliant. Yeah. I'd be the king. Maybe. No, I would. Right, what would you do then? No, would like you... you said, they'd be waiting. They'd go, they'd go, they'd go. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Bless. Excuse you, me. What was I going to say? Oh my god. Oh yeah. How far? How far back do you? How far back do you think you'd have to go in time to like take a infant, a newborn infant of 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 humans or our ancestors? Like, how far back would you have to go in time to, to steal an infant, bring them back, and raise them here, and we would, like, notice something different about them? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you took someone from an infant from 1600 or 400 or even, like, 800 BC, I think they'd probably still be, like, I, I don't know, but I wonder how far back you'd have to go for us to be, like, that doesn't really seem like a person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Right. It's slightly different, isn't it? No, it's not. It's exactly the same. We haven't changed bodily. I've got a pair of pants on. Right. So you go back naked so you'd fit in? No. Well, because I'd look all pale and... No, no, no. You wouldn't go back naked. Or they'd go, they would take your pants off. The first thing they do if you went there with pants, they would rip your pants off. No, they wouldn't. They would. They you wouldn't. can't go back with pants on. You've got to go back naked. It's summer. They're walking around naked. Why would you go with pants on? Before you get in the time machine, you'd have to take your pants off. No, because I want to come across like I'm something from the future. Okay. So I walk in. They're going, whoa. What are they doing? What do they say? They just can't believe it. They're going, what's going on? What do you say? I say, I'm just visiting. What are you wearing then? What are you Jean, wearing? Jean, this. I've gone like this. Okay. They would definitely want to see. No, they wouldn't. They would, to they? Wouldn't, because they're sick of seeing it. To them, it's like being on a nudist beach. They're no longer looking at cock and bollocks and tits and arse. They're seeing it every day. To them, it isn't weird. To me, I'll probably be looking at them. Go and put some pants on. I don't understand why they couldn't do that, really. I think they did the wheel before the pants. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, I think they did. I think they did. Also, they guys, did. time travel. Uh, another cool thing is that you could go back in time 2000 years you, you could go back to ancient egypt you can go back to the roman empire and bring someone from them and and then like tell them like we're going 1500 2000 years in the future to present day but bring them to like sent north sentinel island or like a a very um uh a very uh a primitive style you know, Amazonian civil uh, tribe or somewhere in, in the middle of Africa or, or, or something like that. And, and like North Sentinel Island, for instance, if, if you know that island where people like are still untouched and they'll, they'll be like, like the, they will see people who live more primitively than they did 2000 years ago. That's crazy. Also, like if, if you, if you went back a hundred years ago, Okay, maybe 150 years ago, and got someone from like the UK or the US, brought them back here, but only took them to Amish country, like the serious, legitimate Amish country. And the Amish will still look at that person and be like, oh my God, he's from the future. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Does that make sense? Biology, the life sciences. Isn't it amazing that we're here, that anything is here, that we're having a chat now in front of these cameras for a DVD extra. And we started off 
as a single cell blob, a little thing that had the right temperature in the right compound, the right minerals, ultraviolet, that little thing happened. This little nucleus, it was just a, just a cell, okay? But I don't like thinking about that. And then it divided, then it... Yeah. Got a skin and then... Yeah. I don't want to know, you know, when people get in touch from Friends Reunited, I go, that was 20 years ago, I don't want to know. Right. So I certainly don't want to know about 30 million years ago. Okay. I want my little time zone that I'm right. born, I live and I die in. Okay. That's all I can worry about. It doesn't fascinate know. you at all. It doesn't fascinate it you at amazing, all. It is amazing, but it hurts your head, doesn't it? I don't the, the, like the, it. I don't just like by it. chance, something happened, uh, a genetic mutation, and that, and that, and then that was chosen by nature. It worked. It survived. Okay? But certain things work, and they're not that impressive, like slugs. You always say, well, it's evolved. It hasn't evolved. Okay. We share about 70% of our genetic material with a slug. <laughs> I hate it when people say something is more evolved or not. Since we all came from the same ancestor, then isn't every single life form on the planet exactly, exactly, precisely the, the, the same evolved? We've all been evolving for the same amount of time. So to say one is more evolved than the other just doesn't make sense to me. If we all started evolving from the same thing and we are related to to that I'm related to that tree and that or a slug or a bird or a person whatever then everything has been or when people say a living dinosaur I'm just like wow, did that, that, how does that make sense I, I, uh, about 70% of our genetic material with a slug <laughs> what 70% well what what 70% has that got, that I've got? It's got 70%. I've coughed up stuff that looks like a slug. If that's a 70% you're talking about, but there's nothing else, nothing in a slug. There is. Nothing. You share, you share DNA with an onion. I've heard that. That's the roundness of the head, probably. I'm telling you that the slug has about 70% of the same genetic material as the human species. We're that close. We're that close. All the hard work, all the hard work was done then, in terms of like, getting it right. A slug got it right. A slug is as evolved. Yes! As us. Exactly! Thank you, Ricky. I know this is a comedy thing, but I love talking about this stuff, guys. Like, uh, uh, Evolution doesn't go in a in a forward line. It just it just goes like it just it, it, it if it finds an a, a a if it creates a a body or or whatever you want to call it that works then it then it works. It's perfect. It's not perfect. Why? Okay. Definitely not perfect. Why? Why isn't it perfect? It's just not great. I've, I've, I've had to deal with slugs a lot when they were, like, blocking up my shower. Right. There's a gang of them in the tube. How can they be uh, as evolved as me? What are they doing? <coughs> Up there. Just all mush. Mushified. <laughs> Mushified! Right. Talk me through it. What happened? Just was having a shower and the shower basin filled up. Right. Like, What's going on here? Yeah. So I got a plunger. Right. So bits of black stuff. I'm thinking, what is this? I had to unscrew the, the, the plug hole bit. Couldn't quite get down there. Yeah. Had to take the tiles off the side of the shower thing. Right. Got in there, unscrewed it all, got the pipe. Just slugs all in there. All sat in there, blocking it up. Don't right. know how they got in there. But that's what I'm saying to you. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. What they're doing, knocking about in there. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> <laughs> now, what are they doing? I don't know to this day what they do. I watch Jones. insects. They, you know I like insects. They survive. That's what they do. They're chosen yeah, but by they nature. No, there's, there's another one. There's loads of insects knocking out the house. There's a spider in the outside shed. It's not an insect, nor is a slug. A slug is a mollusk. A spider's an arachnid. All right. A slug okay. is a mollusk. A spider's in the cupboard outside. Right. 
I'm not joking. It's been there now for about two years. Right. Could be three. Okay. All Same spread. one. It's quite big. Right. Just sits there in the corner. Right. I go in. I smash its web up. Why? Yeah. Because I don't want it there. Right, fine. I don't want to kill a spider. Right. But I'm sort of saying I'm wrecking your house. If you move, there's no problem. Move. I go back. It's built its web again. Just right. sat there like that. Doing nothing. <laughs> What is the point? <laughs> well, it's not doing nothing, is it? Well, it's building its house every it's time hunting. I wreck it. It's hunting. It's not even doing that. Well, it is. That's what it. Ha that's how it does it. It's made. A, it's made a web, and things fly into it. Then it wraps them up, sucks the juice out. Right. But for what? To then sit in this shed. And it's what not are you doing? Existence. What Why didn't it go? But you're eating. <laughs> I love Carl. You're staying in your flat. You want to go back to Mallorca five years ago. He's like, get a job, spider. What are you doing? Eating. You're staying in your flat. You want to go back to Mallorca five years ago. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it depends. I've been... Who knows, who knows what's going to happen in another billion years? You'll be the slug. The human race could be the slugs. There could be this amazing being that, that, that evolved from us going, what are they doing? People go, well, you know, 70% of their genetic material. You don't know how it's going to go. So true, guys. I love Ricky. Oh, my God. I love this stuff, guys. I know it's comedy reaction, and I'm just like... Another billion years. You'll be the slug. Oh, wait, is he? But I'm saying, like, humans... Like, like evolution doesn't go like this. Humans could be dumber and way dumber in a million years than they are today it just depends on on what environment we go into i'm talking too much i love talking about evolution and stuff the human race could be the slugs there could be this amazing being that that, that evolved from us going what are they doing People go, right i i misconstrued what he was saying i'm saying that like humans like you like, evolution doesn't care how smart you are if it doesn't help you survive. So if being less smart and, like, losing limbs help you survive in a certain scenario, then humans could turn right... I'll stop talking, all right. Bugs. There could be this amazing being that, that, that evolved from us going, what are they doing? People go, well, you know, 70% of their genetic material. You don't know how it's going to go. You stood on the shoulder of giants. You stood on a few slugs, you told me, in your flat. But... We share our ancestry with those slugs. We are related to slugs. I have never watched Who Do You Think You Are? And they've gone, they've gone in your family tree. Do you know uh, Terry the Slug? He's a great uncle of yours. We don't need to know where we've come from. Nobody would want to hear that either on that programme. You would not want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, but you're... There's nothing to do with us. Oh. It's happened. It's all, all an accident. But it's a matter of degrees. Your brother, right, okay, very close to you. Your cousin. I haven't seen him for about 12 years. <laughs> okay, genetically speaking, couldn't get closer, okay? It's the closest you can be, a brother, a son, a mother. Or twin. Except, you know, except a clone, an identical twin, okay? So, cousin, a bit less, go cousin, da -da -da. bloke around the world, da -da -da. chimp. Da -da -da. Marmot. Mouse. Bird. Bacteria. I don't know what you're doing now, you're just saying words at me. What's a marmot? <laughs> it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but you're related to him. Guys, so like COVID-19, well that was a virus, but aren't bacteria alive? So I'm thinking about COVID-19, well it's just trying to survive, right? And it survives by infecting people. But wait, I don't know if viruses are... are th I don't know what viruses are, so maybe I'm wrong. But I mean, like, I've seen things on, like, brain-eating amoebas. And it's like, oh, it's just trying to survive. I mean, it doesn't mean I want it to eat my brain. But I mean, th that's just how, you know, it found its niche. And just because it's, it's a scary, th you know. You're related to him. Logic. Knowledge. With all our evolution, now we can sit around doing Sudoku and inflaming our mind and inventing art and stuff. Um, so I want to I wanna use to use, you know, scientific method. Let's use a bit of logic, okay? 
I'll give you a couple of conundrums because I want to see how, how you've evolved. Okay? Um, there's two children sitting on a bench. Yeah. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Billy? Yeah. Okay. There's a boy and a girl. Okay? They're the, they're the kids on the bench. Yeah. There's a boy and a girl sat on a bench. Yeah. The blonde-haired child... Yeah. ...says... I'm a girl. All right. The brown-haired child says, I'm a boy. At least one of the children are lying. Which one's the boy and which one's the girl? Hmm? But what else can I see there? Yeah. Can I tell by the way they look or am I blind? No, you, no, you can't see. I'm blind. Yeah, you can't see. I don't know. I'm just, I'm telling you, there's still the information you need. And they actually sound, I can tell by voice. No, 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 you can't. No, 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 you can't. I'm telling you, okay? So I'm gone. The girl so is the one who said she has one. Right? You've come to me, I haven't seen these. No, no. I've not heard them. You've come no. to me and yeah. said, I've just been in the park. Yeah, yeah. Say again, I've just been She's in the, the park. She's the one who said yeah. she has blonde hair. Yeah. A lad and a girl, one had brown hair, one had blonde hair. Yeah. The, the, the blonde-haired child said, I'm a girl. Yeah. The brown-haired child said, I'm a boy. At least one of them is lying. Which one's the girl and which one's the boy? The one who said she has brown hair. Or, or... I don't know. Well, think. I don't the want one to. Who sa- Why don't you want to? I don't want to. The one, wouldn't it just be the one who said, the one who said, the girl is the one who said she has blonde hair. The, the... Whether or not she's lying doesn't matter if, if, if she's the one who said she had blonde hair. So work it out. It's a very easy one. Just think through the scenario. I don't know. Head. I'm a girl. Who said that? The brown-haired one. I'm a no, girl. the blonde-haired one said I'm a girl. One of them is lying. Yeah, at least one of them is lying. Okay. The lad... So just the, just the boy is lying? Well, both of them are. Well, they've got to be both lying, haven't they? Why? Because there's a boy and a girl there. One of them's saying they're a girl, one's saying they're a boy. Yeah, so if one of them's lying... But they're both lying. They have to be both lying. Why? Oh, true. Okay. I don't get it. No, so, okay. Because if there is, it's a fact that that one is a boy and one is a girl, and one is lying, then that means they'd both be either a girl or or both be a boy. Okay. Brain. Brain. Snap. So the blonde-haired kid's a boy. What? See. But what 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 are we, what are you doing with that? Because it trains the mind to think logically, to think through it. That's, that's imposing a scientific method. Ow, my freaking arms. Uh, I love Carl. I think me and Carl would get along really well. But our conversations wouldn't be as... Because I'm not a Ricky. Carl's probably smarter than I am. Probably. I don't think he's stupid. But I think people just assume. I think he's really smart. Love you guys. Uh, see you next time. Bye.